Good morning, peeps. Whoever's around. Did you get out of bed yet? Do you have your tea? I mean, I can sort of prattle on about nothing for like literally hours. So if you need to go get a cup of tea or coffee, this is my new winter mug. There's not a lot down the super value. Sorry, I bought them. Um, okay, so new setup, which is super funny because I took a picture 10 minutes ago and posted it to the social medias. I have it all set up. So um, if I post to Instagram, then it automatically posts to Facebook and it automatically goes out to my personal Twitter account, which is hilarious. Um, so everybody gets it all at once. So I have to just tweak my laptop set up a little bit. So not looking up, not looking here or up my nose or a more attractive, like taller setup. It is a little wonky. Okay. So for the observant among you, and I know you are, um, the background's different with no people in the shop because the shop is closed because we are under orange in the Fredericton zone, which means household bubbles are locked down to single households only. And some retail shops are open, but I have a home-based business. So what that means is people shouldn't come into my bubble. <clears throat> Took me ages to kind of clue in, which I should have clued in because that's what we did in the spring. Duh. So back to the same thing, although there's less restrictions for some businesses, but all of those restrictions assume that the retail venue is separate from somebody's living space and is in some sort of commercial building, which I'm not. And I poured over pages of guidelines to make sure I was following all these rules because there are um, enforcement officers. Doesn't that sound scary? Um, going to businesses and checking, they're making sure they're following safety protocols, which is good. Yes, I have lots to say about that too, but overall it's good for everybody. Um, and if you have been here, you know, it's a little, uh, you ha you, you, there's just places you can't socially distance, which is why masks are mandatory. Um, but even then some people get uncomfortably close trying to come in and out at the same time. And there's not a lot of space. And I definitely did not have arrows on the floor, which I might, I don't even know if there's a point because it's just only one way you can go in and out. So nobody was in the shop. Um, I did a deep clean. That was great. I love to clean when I'm in the mood. Cleaning is good when you're worried or nervous. You can just clean the heck out of everything. I channeled the spirit of my other grandmother, not the one who taught me how to quilt, but my grandmother that's still living, my mother's mother who can clean anything. Anything. Clean the hell out of it. Everything's always spotless. Um, kind of curious about her Christmas tree this year because one time we went to visit, uh, she stopped short of putting plastic on the furniture, but when she did get a new couch like 30 years ago, there was plastic for a while. Anyway, this time we went to visit her, her tree was up. We were allowed to look at the tree from the doorway of the living room. We weren't allowed to go any further because the carpet was freshly vacuumed. And she explained in great detail how every single ornament on the Christmas tree was equally distant from any other organ ornament. And it took her three days to do this. I'm looking at my Christmas tree right here that's in the shop and I'm seeing ornaments that bug me. So yes, that's how you can tell we're related. Anyway, all that to say, we, we did some reorganization. Um, you can see behind me, I moved some stuff around on this uh, main wall where I put the new fabric. I have to do things in reverse and it's throwing me. I'll talk about the new fabric in a second. One of the things we did in the other room, which I will sh post pictures or something, I don't know. I don't want to take you on a tour right now because it's woo too early to get that wonky with the screen. Um, one of the things we did is all the shelves that we have, all our fabric stacked on, it really bothered, I was going to say it bothered Ron, but it bothered all of us that the shelves were not all even. We just sort of put them up in a hurry and we said, well, we'll see how this works. It works really, really well. So what Ron did over the past couple weekends was take all the fabric off of a shelf, 
make sure all the shelving was equally distant. <laughs> And the bottom shelf was too low so we, on a lot of them, so we moved that up to the top shelf. So everything's a little bit higher. The last shelf is a, a little bit higher off the floor for extra stock. We don't want people bending over too far. That's that's what I'm here for. Say you're back. We can wreck mine instead. Um, so now all the shelving in the other room with all the fabric, that's all along one wall. All the shelves line up right across all three sets of shelving. It's glorious. It looks amazing. We also reorganized the fabric itself because we knew more was coming. Uh, the canvas, canvas is the name of the line, not the name of the, the type of the fabric. Canvas from by Northcott are nice tonal blenders with the grungy sort of feel to it. More of those came and I knew I didn't have room for them on this rack right here, which is the rack for new fabric. And we also had new fabric coming. So the process for me behind the scenes is new fabric comes in, whatever's on this shelf, I move it to the other room and I put the new fabric here. So as soon as you come in the shop, you see the new fabric first. Marketing 101. I learned something. Um, so yeah, but the fun part was Ron came up with, because I'm like, where do I put these things? And it just got really overwhelming. So it took the voice of sanity. Uh, to say, okay, so the back two shelves, stuff's all rearranged in there. So if you are used to going to one particular spot for fabric, when you come back in again, it's moved, basically. Uh, we put all, all the solids are still on one shelf, but they are all next to the blenders and the tone on tone. So the two big shelves together at the back are all basically, I call them the bees, the basics. Well, okay, solids. <laughs> the the bland, the, the tone on tones, the blenders, the bolts, extra bolts of stuff. Um, so they're all in, in one order, in one section of the shop. And I mean, cause often sometimes somebody's trying to match something they don't know if they want to use a solid or something not quite a solid or maybe a tonal, tone on tone thing. And those are all in the same areas. You can pull them out easy. And of course they are in rainbow order very pleasing to look at. Um, we also moved the batiks over to the big shelf. I moved around some of the sale items of the collections you see as they come in. So the batiks are going on the big shelf. The batiks are picked over. There's really, when I put them on the really big shelf, because there's a big shelf at the back where all the clearance and sale stuff was, that's now the batiks. They've been really picked over, so they only take up one and a half shelves right now. Yeah, one and a half shelves, but I keep saying I got to order some, I got to order some, it's going to be a big order. Last time I did sort of, um, you know how you put stuff in your cart? I don't know if there's a, like a wish list or something. It wasn't a wish list, but I just sort of chucked a bunch of stuff in the cart so I could think about it. And this particular supplier, if you don't buy it within a couple days, if they just empty your cart, that's fine. I printed it out. <laughs> so it was like 42 bolts. Okay. Yeah, I can move that. You know, it just added up. Is this how much I want to spend? Mm, tweak it a little. Yeah. So I had to make, I have to make room so, so for some more batiks because I know I'm going to get more batiks. I know I'm going to get more of some other stuff. So just had to make room for future things is my point. Mm. So the other reason I organized this wall because there's a, uh, heater thingy and I was having issues with temperature regulation part because it was blocked. Now it's a little less blocked because it's only blocked by like a piece of paper now. Um, and I wanted to make sure I had more room to hang up stuff on hooks because we really needed to be able to hang up stuff. You can see I did move more of the goodies so that the shelf over there on the gadget wall and the shelf with the rulers. Ha ha. Uh, and rulers and patterns area. I was looking, it has got more room. I was trying to make space to sort of display more patterns so you could see them better. But I also got in some quilting rulers, which are not on the site yet, but they are coming. That's my next task. So you can see those easy. Again, I will take a picture and show you because you'll have to browse from home and they will be on the website. Um, it's all about just juggling stuff so we can cram as much good stuff in here as possible. And it's all nice and organized and easy to look at, easy for me to pick out when I am doing your online orders, which are fantastic, by the way. Uh, I love waking up to orders that I need to fill. It gives me a sense of purpose. Uh, 
I know. So one of the things I did right behind me here is some basic, just pins and needles, pins and needles. You come in, there's pins and needles because I've got all the nice machine needles that you need. Um, more pins down below and like hand sewing stuff, like thimbles and things and thimbles. Are, so anything hand sewing, pins and needles is all there. Also, since we have a lot of people coming in to make masks, there's also a section just with mask making supplies. And I did on the website, it's not on the menu, but I did set up a page where you can go. It's just called mask making supplies. It's got everything mask making related. So people who are looking for that, uh, like other than the fabric, just the extra supplies like the elastics, the mask template rulers that I have, uh, bias tape makers. Oops, one of them's gone. Somebody ordered that in the elastic, which you can't see from here, but the bin is there. Okay, Andrea, shut up. Talk about the new fabric. Oh my God. I have been waiting for this. It was supposed to come out last month, but as we know, everything is delay delayed. So Northcott had said back in spring, fabric releases are delayed by about a month. Yep, they were, although this is now December. I got it at the end of November. Oh. And I did see some other shops online that actually did have this line before me. It was a little frustrating. But I did get it. So we're just crossing our fingers. We got it, which is great because, as you can see, there's a lot of black. And you know black's been in high demand. So this line is called Be Kind. And I can't remember the designer's name right off the bat. But it is really, really nice. I'm super excited about this. Um, I just whipped this up for you. It does, you can see a panel right up here with a bunch of different squares and elements, which you could use the panel as is if you really want. You can cut it apart and treat the pieces like blocks, which makes a fantastic quilt. I saw some of their samples on the Northcott site. I didn't get any of the patterns where people had used this to, to do stuff. Now I'm kicking myself. Maybe I can get the patterns. But the other panel that came with it, I was really quite pleased with is for a canvas tote bag. I know, how cute is that? As my mom would say. So it says, be kind. It's got bees on it. I mean, who doesn't love the bees? Speaking of, and on the, stra the straps, the handles, it says, save the bees. I know. Now, uh, I told them I was going to tell you this. Now, I have used a lighter thread so you can see all the stitching lines and see, you know, it's very easy to put together. Uh, yes, I have stitching lines here because they've included a little pocket to go on the inside. So with your, this bag belongs to, so if you accidentally lose it and, you know, you can just put your stuff in there, you can sling this on, get yourself a little mask made of matching fabric, perhaps and take thee to the markets and fill your bag at the grocery store. So I know some of you are very nice. It's nicely boxed at the bottom. I really like that. Um, for the love of God, please press this as you go because as I will tell you, pressing your seams after you sew them sets your stitches, makes everything look neat and tidy and is the difference between something looking homemade and handcrafted. I'm just saying, I, I am going to be a bit of a stickler about that. I used to not really care about the pressing and honestly, in my finished product, it showed. Um, so yeah, this is, I mean, it's a, it's a really nice size tote bag and it is in printed on a more canvas fabric. It's still a hundred percent cotton, but you can see the printing there you can see it is an actual canvas. It's a lighter weight canvas. It's no trouble. It's, I didn't change my needle or thread or nothing. I just sewed it and it's got the instructions here. I will say I didn't sew the handles the way they said because it didn't match up with the printed lines on the little ends that they have. Um, and it was gonna, it was gonna hide some of the words. So I don't know why they did that. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's really easy. The panel is $11. It's on the website already. I worked really hard all afternoon. Okay, it was like an hour to make sure 
to make sure everything it took it took longer to sew the bag than it did for me to get stuff up on the website so you could buy the stuff to make the bag ah which is so funny but yeah it's really really nice it sort of just has this um almost a jane sassaman look to it but a little less cartoony not cartoony a little less a little more illustration and and i mean save the bees everybody and it's got some nice quotes on this panel you can see the really nice um colorway here that nice olive green the nice mustard the mustard yellow there's a bit of a peach in there too i mean just some nice border stuff so you can see the entire line here there's uh not a huge amount of bolts but they are very very nice so that's the thing and it's just bolts there's no pre-cuts um Northcott typically doesn't do a bunch of pre-cuts with their collections because they're usually smaller. Moda is the big, biggie pre-cut people. And I will be talking to a Moda rep on Friday and doing some pre-orders for next year. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I'm excited because I know what I'm getting. I'm sad because I know what I'm not getting. Anyway, let's keep talking about this uh, bee fabric here because... I mean, I think we're going to make a mask for Emma to wear down to the college when Emma goes down there three or four days a week um, because the NB, NBCCD, the craft college, downtown Fredericton, their symbol is actually a B on their logo. So we thought it would be cute if Emma showed up for school and had little bees on a mask. Um, so it's really funny. I think I said, said this before. Um, See, I haven't even opened these. And your screen's wiggling because I have my laptop on a pile of bolts and the table's kind of bouncy. So, anyway, so when you order these, they're like, you know, you want these in five yard bolts, 10 yard bolts, that's North Cot. You can choose half bolts or full bolts, that's fine. Um, and I said, I'm getting full bolts because I know people will love this. Which is funny, so when they roll the bolts, when they get them shipped in on the big rolls and they cut them into smaller bolts, bolts for shops, um, you know, sometimes they'll have a little extra. So I'm going down my list as I'm putting it in inventory in my spreadsheets. And I want to be able to just go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 meters of each, right? Or in my case, I'm putting them in the inventory and you buy by quarter meter, so I'm at 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. This is four meters. Four quarters in a meter, so 10 times four is 40. Um, so I'm going down my list, and some of them are nine, nine and a half, 8.9. It's a little annoying, so you have to tweak a couple. And I look at one, and it's 12. They sent me 12 meters. I hope they didn't send me 12 meters of the ugly fabric. No, there's no ugly fabric. Or, you know, there's a, but there's always one fabric in a line that you're like, I don't like this one as much as I like the other one. I could do without like that. But... I was very happy to find that the 12 meter bolt they sent me, so I got two meters extra. So I'd pay for it. It's not like free or anything. <laughs> What's the text print? Oh my God. How much do you love text prints? As much as me, maybe. Okay, so this is the text print. And it's all about bees and educational bees and just support local beekeeping. I know we have a couple of beekeepers that show up at the market with... Uh, beeswax products like lip balm and soap and of course honey hello have you had honey in your tea honey's very good i'm add can you tell <laughs> also a little burpy excuse me so it has uh a lot of stuff about honeys and bees and some very cute text print also emma suggested this would make a good mask because if somebody can actually read this they are definitely too close we like using text prints for masks just for that reason so you can say, oh yeah, no, sorry, I will tell you what it says because if you can read this, you're too close. So yeah, I am super happy about this. And as you can see, there's some really nice dark prints and bees and lush, lush gardeny florals. I really like this one. I mean, I don't know how well this would work for a one block wonder, probably really well with the repeat. I mean, 
come on. I, I would just cut that as is and, and border it in some black and there's a gorgeous table runner. All about the table runners. Um, and this is priced at a reasonable $17 a meter, which really these days is pretty darn good. Yeah, really. <sighs> so that's the be kind. I didn't show you. I mean, there's a nice green. Yeah, it looks way better on the website. I got the images right from Northcott, so they're accurate. Hard to judge the scale, but you can see from here the scale of some of the fabrics. Um, it's a lovely stripe. I know somebody was in the shop looking for a stripe to do some some sort of runners with in triangles, and they definitely needed a smaller stripe. This might do it for you, but you could cut out some hexes, you know, make up some hexagons with this so the stripes go in a pattern around it. It would look super cool. Um, and since it's kind of a unusual peach, what Northcott did is they did pick from their Colorwork solids a matching peach. This is, I can't even see this. So this peach color right here, definitely, despite what it looks like on video, it definitely matches as close as they could get to the peach in the line if you wanted. You know how you want just that bright pop of color sometimes for a zinger with whatever your project is? It's this color right here. That color. And it is super, super nice. Sorry, I was looking at notifications. Um, for some reason, I didn't order a solid mustard to go with this, the nice the mustard color. So I'm either going to get the Colorworks one that matches or a Kona that matches because that kind of mustard I know some ladies are definitely looking for because it matches like that Kansas Troubles primitive type stuff. Um, I did mean to check the canvas blender line. There's probably a yellow in there because like I said, we got like 15 more colors. Those are all added to the website as well. So if you uh, use the search box on the main page and just type in canvas, there's a menu up top too if, where it says departments. You can just click the word fabric and just browse fabric. It's just set up like that for you too. Um, when you are browsing, there's a new stuff on the sidebar too so you can filter things a little better. Uh, that works as long as I tag things properly, so I'm also making sure things are tagged. So if you're looking for black fabric, you can see all the black fabric we have. If you're looking for red, there's not a lot left. I had somebody phone yesterday. They were trying to find the red Christmas fabrics. They couldn't find them on my site, so they just called up so they could order some. And I'm like, well, we pretty much don't have any. That's why they're not on the site. So you're kind of out of luck. Sorry. So that's, that's the other thing. If something's out of stock, it just doesn't show up on the site anymore. Mostly because if it's out of stock and it's gone, we just can't, we just can't get it anymore. Uh, that's all you can get. That's the way a lot of the fabric lines work, unless it's a basic or a blender type thing. Um, those are the only things that they continually print like solids. This line, once, once it's gone, it's gone. Same with the new Christmas stuff, since they don't reprint print the same sort of designs every year that some of the cheaper fabric companies do, uh, but the higher quality stuff when they come out with the collections, it, it, it's just, it's just not available. Uh, cause I know I tried to order a couple of more that they said was left on the site, but by the time they got to my order, it was all gone. So they couldn't fill that part. Um, so yeah, that is definitely another thing on my list. I'm still working through pre-orders for next year and I'm going to make sure we have a heck of a lot of red and green and fun stuff, but it's been interesting to see what people want. Cross your fingers that they want more of the same the next year. I know that little red trucks popular, but not as many fabrics coming out next year with the little red trucks going to be gnomes though. Gnomes are hot for next year. <laughs> totally bringing in the gnomes. You know I am. <sighs> so that's new. Um, so yeah, the online ordering is working out really, really well. People are really liking that they can just zip by, pick up the parcel and go. You don't have to worry if I'm here or not, if I'm doing a run, taking Emma downtown for classes. 
doesn't matter because the back door is where you do the pickup. So instead of coming in the shop drawer door like you normally do, you just go around to the other side where my car is and it's covered. So yesterday and all that rain, everybody's stuff was dry and waiting for pickup nicely bagged. It's got your name on it. Speaking of bags and saving the bees, one of the things you can do if you want, one of my customers does this, you know how I put your name on your bag for pickup? Angela started doing this. So when she picks up an order, she leaves a bag that she, we've used previously. So next time she orders, I will just put it in this bag instead of taking a new bag and writing her name on it. So it just goes between me and her, between me and her. Fairly safe that way. So if you wanted to do something like that, that's perfectly fine. If you've got a bag with your name on it and you just hung on to it, um, you can bring it back. I'll fill it up with what, your next order and leave it out for you again. I know, because I'm nice that way. Um, and it's interesting and funny having a website because I do do mail orders. And I have been doing mail orders for a while. Shipping is not my favorite thing to do. I had Emma do them all summer. It was great. <laughs> Just print it off, say, I filled this order, you pack it for shipping. Um, so I talked to a very nice lady in North Carolina, and up until this point, I had restricted shipping things to just within Canada, so if you tried to order from somewhere else, you couldn't check out, basically, which was difficult when a friend of mine uh, messaged me, like, I live in England, but my mom lives in Canada, and I'm just buying this from my mom, and I want to ship it to my mom, so we had to sort of work around that, we were able to do that. She was sending her mom elastic, basically, <laughs> who isn't? So last night I talked to a very nice lady in North Carolina. Kept saying yes ma'am to me. It's just tickled, I love southern, southerners. It's <laughs> everything's so slow and drawly. And I used to travel a lot for my previous job and uh, been down to Georgia been to Florida, been to Texas. Oh my God, I miss Texas barbecue. <sighs> uh, anyway, so it was nice, if only for five minutes or so, to uh, walk her through ordering some things and letting her know I would get my tech guy to fix the shipping. I, I actually did it without him. Um, but she was looking for this for a quilt back and I have to ship all the rest of it out and down to North Carolina, which is perfectly fine with me, because as you know, the more fabric that goes out, the more fabric that can come in. I know. It's so funny how that works. One of the things that I keep forgetting to mention and is not on the website, it's on my list, I made pillowcase kits. I know. Out of the flannels. So this was the some flannel Christmas ones. I got them all cut for you. Um, You just have to... You don't have to cut anything. They're all cut, ready to go. The little band and the burrito method. Some of them even have the instructions in there. But if you don't need the instructions, we can save some paper that way. Uh, they were 26 bucks. I probably will mark them down since all the flannel is on sale. Still 20% off. Um, I should double check the website. I think I set it to expire after a certain date. But um, if you're interested in the pillowcase kit, let me know because the things that people nag about me are the things that I put online first because I know people want them. The ones that I'm like, well, nobody's asked about this. So just like, I'll just go do something else. So that's that. And a tip from my mom who was super into gift bags, cloth gift bags 20 years ago, and they were making a comeback. Um, if you make the person a pillowcase, and then tie a pretty rip, tie a pretty ribbon around it to tie it closed with their gifts in it. The pillowcase, the pillowcase doubles as a gift bag, and then they can use it all year long. She totally spoiled my present. I know what I'm getting. Darn it. Which is good because I actually need more pillowcases because I got a new mattress downsized. So anyway, big rig and roll there. Everybody seems to be sleeping. I have no comments. Please leave me a comment. I live for comments. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm going to cry my teeth. Mm. This box makes me happy. It's all about the little thing. So I think that's pretty much it. I do see some other fabric. I'm like, oh crap, I forgot to put that online. But it was just like a one-off bolt, so that's fine. Um, 
the other thing about the website, if you do see something that, you know, I haven't shop and it's not online and you figure people might want to buy it, please feel free to let me know if you see a bug or something works wonky and you don't understand. Please give me some feedback as well on that. Uh, I really like to know those things. Just, it's constructive criticism. I'm not going to take it personal. I just want the website to work better for you. It's pretty good. Um, probably could be a little better in some ways. That's why we have all the filters. Somebody said, hey, other sites have this. Is that something you can put on? Yeah, okay, great. You want that? We'll put that up there. And it does make it easier. But like I said, I got to go through and um, put all the search terms on each individual fabric so that you can find them. And I fixed the glide thread because people were looking for glide thread and they put in thread. And the listing on the website didn't say the word thread in the title <laughs> so it couldn't be found with the search box because and as I like to say a lot computers only do specifically exactly what you tell them not what you meant weird <laughs> lesson for me too is the, the, the word thread wasn't in the title I don't think I put anything in the body that said thread. It might have found it that way. It was tagged with the word thread. Didn't find that. It was in the thread category. Still didn't work. Um, so I did fix that for now, which is super funny. Um, just making sure that wasn't, I see my iPad. It's over here. Um, and I just saw it going because sometimes it, I get an email when I get a new order. So was that a new order? Okay. So like the lady on North Carolina, she was trying to check out. She goes, it's spinning and I'm waiting. And then my uh, notification popped up that I got an email with her order. I'm like, oh, I got that. It's good. You're all good to go. You're all set. Thank you very much. Um, it was such a pleasant conversation. It was like the highlight of my day. Well, thank you. <laughs> I know. It's just so adorable. Yes, ma'am. Um, so I guess that's it. We've got the Be Kind line. I'm going to post some pictures on the social media later so you can really get a good idea of the sense of the scale. It's all the images right from Northcott. Um, I'm really happy with it. Let's just say it's a super cute line. Totally summer and it's winter. I know. <laughs> Whatever. We'll make do. Quilters, our seasons are off anyway, right? Right. You're making stuff now for people in June. We know it. Uh, well, actually, right now, you're probably just frantically trying to finish something so you can wrap it and stick it under the tree, stick it in the mail to go off to out west somewhere because that's that's what we all do. And it's 9.33. Um, so I can stop rambling. Okay, great. Um, yeah, I think that was it. I don't have a sticky note list with me today because I just slapped some stuff down in front of me. I have to fold up all these panels. Uh, panels 11 bucks a piece for this line which is pretty good either the bag or the other thing so I thought that was nice um, and the $17 a meter uh, the other thing you can do if you want fat quarters when you check out fat quarters of this or fat quarters of anything if when you're checking out there's a spot for notes so you can just write me a little note and say yeah can you give me these in fat quarters and I will do that no problem at all um, and I guess that's it for today because I have got other orders to fill, film, fill, not film, orders to fill that came in overnight. I got more stuff to put on the website. I did finish a quilt last night. To be fair, there's only like one and a half rows and it took me an hour to finish. So I got to send out the billing for that and phone people, uh, do some other forms, giving you an insight into running a little quilt shop here lots and lots of paperwork and sitting at the computer which is ironic because I quit my other job which was sitting at the computer for eight hours a day now I only do it a couple hours a day so hey awesome anyway it's the start of December we're gearing up for the holiday season I think next week I'm going to talk about some of the Christmas panels we have left so you can get them moving out the door for some last minute uh, projects. There's lots of stocking panels left, just one kind, but anyway, not two kinds. Huh. Okay. So yeah, um, 
save the bees. I gotta refill my tea and it's cold. My tea is cold and I can't put this cup in the microwave because it has little gold bits on it. So I'm going to sign off. Leave me a comment, say hi, let me know how you're doing. Let me know what you think of the new bees line. And I'll see you next week. Or I'll see you on Friday if you're signed up to the newsletter, which I'll get signed.